If you need to download your configuration, you can of course do that in several ways. You can use the graphical user interface, you can use an automation stitch, but you can also use SCP, the secure copy protocol that is based on SSH and it is a very functional and secure way to transfer files between different devices and remote devices. So let's just do that and use SCP to download our configuration, our system configuration to a specific location. Coming up. Using SCP is a very functional and secure way to transfer files between different devices. Now, you can also use SCP to download your configuration to any location that you wish to. So, the very first thing that we will do, we will move to our network interface and make sure that our SSH uh, protocol is enabled. It is enabled. And the second thing is, is to open up our command line, config system global. And here we will set the admin SCP. Let's just move between the different options. Admin SCP and enable it. All right, let's just end that. And the next thing that we will do is to move to my terminal. And here we will use the SCP command and the admin at my 48, which is at 192.168.188. Now the configuration file is sysconfig and the location that we want to download the file is my desktop. It will ask me for my password. So let's just uh, do that. And there it is, it was downloaded. Now, if I'll move to my uh, desktop, let's just do that and use the ls command. Let's look for the, uh, there it is. There's the sysconfig. And so le let's move to my Mac and there it is. Now, if I'll press open with text edit, we will see that there's my system configuration uh, available to be restored or to be used anywhere. All right, now moving back to our 40 gate, you can use the restore and then of course restore the system configuration back to your uh, 40 gate or any other 40 gate. And there it is.